Hey, this is Pete Colombo. This is my Saturday morning project. Um, this is a 03 Elantra, my daughter's car. You can see it has a little bit of bumper damage there. See, the paint's not really stuck on there good, kind of already peeling off. So we're going to take that down. Looks like there wasn't even a primer coat on it, or if it was one put on good. So we're going to mask the whole bumper off, um, sand it down. We're going to prime it and uh, shoot it. So, give you a little bit before picture of what we're up against. And we'll show you the after when we're done. Alright, here we are. I'm about an hour and a half into it. Got the tail lights off, part of the trunk molding up. Mud flaps pushed inside. And start sanding on the coming around the corner here. Got a ways to go. Check back later. All right, what time is it? Man, it's about 4:30. So we've got done with the sanded it all. I primed it. I just shot it with some gold. I'm waiting for this to dry, and we'll put our clear coat on with the hardener. See how it looks when we're done. Looks okay for shooting in the driveway. I guess you can pay and get worse. <laughs> and here we are. There's the finished product. Got the clear coat on. All the trims back together. See the shine on there. Gonna have to give it about a week or two maybe buff it out a little we'll rubbing compound on there will do it some justice but that's my baby scooter the things you do for love okay we'll have a little lesson on paints okay now that we're done with the project show you a little bit about what we were using for any other do-it-yourselfers um Paints come a long way. You got a, a compressor. Uh, you only need about 30 pounds of air, so you don't need a whole lot to blow paint on. Um, and um, what we have here is the uh, Hyundai, two, uh, 2003 Hyundai. This is color code KO. It's a beige metallic. Um, and you take, uh, you mix this two to one, two parts paint to one part reducer. Okay. And then uh, that gives you your paint. And then for the clear coat, uh, you have uh, a clear coat and a hardener. And you want to mix this uh, four parts of the clear coat uh, to one part of the hardener. Um, with gravity-fed air guns, you know, being uh, more advanced, uh, you can actually, heck, I've, I've got uh, well over a... I have this little pint left and um, a whole lot of a whole lot of clear coat um, I did basically one good coat of paint and um, two coats of clear lay one on and then lay the second one on when the first one was tacking uh, I actually had enough paint left over to uh, make some touch up so um, nice little one day project uh, not too involved, you'd be surprised what you can do.